Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. EV stocks are on the rise and I'm not just talking about Tesla. There are so many new electric vehicle companies on the market right now. In this video, I'm going to be diving into two of my favorites. One of these stocks I actually own and in this video, I'm going to do a full valuation and dive into the technical charts for these two stocks because I've seen so many people doing analysis of these new SPAC companies, but nobody tends to do a valuation and I just think that's completely bonkers. So in this video, I'm actually gonna do a full valuation, buy points, all for you guys. If you appreciate that, feel free to give this video an early thumbs up. That really helps us to wake up the YouTube algorithm. If you're new around here, why not consider joining the investing family? by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. And if you wish to take things one step further, why not hit that first link in the description below to be taken to the Patreon page where you can find out more about the VIP membership group. There you can gain access to exactly when I'm buying and selling stocks. For example, in this video, I'm gonna be revealing one of these stocks which I actually recommended in the VIP group months back before the stock ran up massively. So if you don't want to miss out on opportunities like that, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below. But with that being said, let's dive in. So the first stock we're gonna be looking at is Proterra. This is going public via a SPAC merger with ACTC. So for those who don't know what a SPAC is, it basically stands for a special purpose acquisition company. Just think of this as the new IPO. It's just a new way for private companies to go public in a faster manner. So interesting company here, our mission advancing electric vehicle technology to deliver the world's best performing commercial vehicles. So this is in the commercial space, which is an electric vehicle space I love. So the interesting thing with this company compared to many of these other electric vehicle SPACs out there is this company is actually operating right now. They've got their electric vehicles on the road, their electric buses on the road right now. So here's a track. So they have a track record of enabling commercial vehicle electrification. So these guys here, they've got Proterra powered, they've got Proterra Transit, and even Proterra Energy. So they have an integrated technology ecosystem, proven real world validation. That's very interesting. I'll get onto that in a minute significant addressable market today. The commercial vehicle market, which is massive at the moment, strategic partnerships with near-term deliveries, real revenue growth, rapid growth, and clear visibility. Now that's actually really important when we're looking at these early stage SPAC companies because many of them are pre-revenue, they don't have any revenue, they just have a business plan, a nice looking presentation, they've had a load of investment and they're hoping things pay off in the future. Some of them will make it, some of them won't. But this stock, Proterra, these guys are already established. Premier and strategic financial investors. So they've got partnerships here with Daimler, with BMW, and many, many more. So this is what these guys do. So they've got Proterra powered, that's leading electric powertrains. And you can see that here for commercial vehicle OEMs. So they say they have superior performance at a lower cost. Proterra Transit, this is what's interesting. So this is North America's number one electric buzz OEM. So these have the most market share, I believe at the moment. I believe they say it's greater than 50% market share in the electric buzz market in North America. So that is massive. But they also have Proterra Energy, a little bit like how Tesla has their energy business. These guys also have an energy business. So this offers fleet level charges and energy management systems for commercial vehicle and transit fleet owners. So here's the macro tailwinds behind electrification of commercial vehicles. So 15 states are targeting 100% zero emission, medium duty and heavy duty trucks by 2050. 70% of consumers have changed their behavior out of concern for climate change. That is very true at the moment. The world's largest logistics players are targeting to electrify their fleets which is also very true. We're talking about Amazon, we're talking about UPS and many, many more. Many of these companies have already partnered with electric vehicle companies in order to create fully electrified delivery vehicles. So yeah, the, so the unique thing with this company, so they have 60 million real world miles, long lifespan of over 4,000 cycles and low maintenance. So electric vehicles are known for having lower maintenance than gasoline powered vehicles. This company also has an advanced R&D facility with 81 patents and manufacturing capabilities in place and at scale. So this is their factory here. It was built in under 12 months and it's automated. So there's a 50% labor cost reduction. Um, and this is in Los Angeles, California. They also have another one here, which specializes in batteries. 
and a place in Grenville, I believe that's South Carolina, um, that creates buzzies. So the annual capacity is still quite small though for these facilities. So you've got 400 vehicles there, um, 280 vehicles in the Los Angeles factory. So they're still quite small facilities. These aren't like Tesla Gigafactory size. So these are some competitors here. We're talking about Arrival. I'm going to be speaking about them very, very soon. Nikola, avoid them if I were you. Canoe, that's an interesting one. I've spoken about them before. Hylion, mm, I wouldn't really bother. Um, so um, Proterra, proven products on the road, going to school in Virginia. So school buzzies. Biden has announced, I believe, to electrify all school buzzies in the next, I believe, maybe five years. Um, double check that one for me, guys. So this is what this company says is so special about them. It's their real world miles. It's their real revenue at the moment. Proven track record of over 10 years. So this is not some new startup concept company. These guys have been going for over 10 years. They're established. Their vehicles are on the road. So that does help to de-risk that investment for you guys. So diving into the juicy financials for this company, we can see they're expecting a compound annual growth rate on the revenue of 68%. Now that's incredibly high. Generally, I say a growth stock is one which is growing at least 20% per year. So 68%, fantastically high growth predicted. But currently today, the revenues are small. So $193 million, very, very small. Um, they're expecting to reach 2.5 billion by 2025. That does seem quite reasonable because smaller companies can grow their revenues faster as a percentage. The company's also predicting attractive 20% EBITDA margins by 2025 of 21%. So that's quite interesting also. And gross margins of 25% at scale, which is also good. Okay, so now I'm going to briefly go into the second company, which is Arrival. I've, I've covered these guys before. They're going public right now via a merger with CIIG. I covered these guys months back. Back when the stock was around $15 to $20 per share, I actually invested into this company. I alerted the VIP group and now the stock is up by, I believe, around 60 to 70%. So that's why I mentioned to you guys about the VIP group. If you don't want to miss out on opportunities like this in the future, feel free to hit that first link in the description below to find out more about the VIP group and not miss out on those early alerts. So this is Arrival. I'm just going to briefly go over these guys because I've discussed them many times before. Interesting thing with this company, it's a modern company based in the UK, actually. They have over 1.2 billion in orders already signed by UPS. So for UPS, they're going to be creating these vehicles. I'll show you these vehicles they're going to be creating for UPS. So this one here, Arrival Van, so for their deliveries, so an electric vehicle market, 10,000 vehicle orders with the option for an additional 10,000 vehicles to be ordered from the company. So that's one of their vehicles. They also have the Arrival Bus, so this is the electric bus here, so that's also very interesting, um, very modern vehicle. And they plan on basically building these vehicles via what are called micro factories. So this is a different method of building these vehicles rather than having these giant gigafactories they're going to have lots of little micro factories this is their plan anyway it's still relatively small company they do have quite a few employees i believe so this is their one um micro factory they've got at the moment in bychester i believe that is in the uk so that's one of their micro factories there and they plan to build this one here in south carolina to build their other vehicles and the reason they can do this quite easily is because they've got this modular skateboard platform. So with the skateboard platform, they can basically just switch the top layer to create a buzz, to create a delivery vehicle, to create a truck. And it's quite simple for them to do, in theory anyway. So now let's dive into this valuation for both companies because they're both quite interesting. I've done a bit of evaluation. I've done the technicals, which I'll get into straight after this. So the first company, ACTCU, is the ticket for the SPAC company, the company's Proterra. Um, share price at the moment, it was $10. A lot of these SPACs do go live at around $10. We're now up to $30. So that one has ran up massively. Um, is it still a good buy today at these levels? Well, I've done a calculation for you here. So I've got the share price today. I've times it by the number of shares outstanding to get the new equity value. So it's currently valued at $7.2 billion. Took off the debts and liabilities, added the cash in. So they've got um, so they've got 200 million cash there. They've got 648 million of cash on the balance sheet. Added that in. So to give us a total enterprise value for Proterra, for the SPAC company, of 6.399 billion. So that does seem quite high. Given that their 2022 revenue 
is 439 million. So basically, if you invest into the company today, you're paying 14 times the 2022 revenue. Now, the reason I'm doing this valuation, we all know these SPACs are expensive, but the reason I'm doing this valuation is just to help to give you guys clarity so you guys understand exactly what you're investing into. Because with these companies, you're investing generally in the future projections of the company because that's when the valuations start to become reasonable. And I'll get into that in a second. Diving into the CICC, which is the SPAC company for Arrival. Share price $30 again today. Like I mentioned, I alerted the VIP group on this stock where months ago when it first went public. It's around $15 per share. So people who invested during that time, they've actually doubled their money in that stock. So if you don't want to miss out on opportunities like that in the future, check out the VIP group. $30 per share, times up by the share price. Equity value, I've minus the cash. So we've got a total enterprise value of $17.5 billion. So that is fairly high also. The difference I'd say with Arrival is they do have they do have around 1.2 billion already in orders from UPS. So that is a good point. If we divide that by the 2022 revenue projected, a billion dollars in revenue, that's still a price of sales of 17.5. So in the short term, Arrival's more expensive than Proterra in the short term, if we're looking just up to 2022. So that makes Proterra a better buy in the short term. But here's where things get a little bit interesting. So what I've done is I've done three different valuations as the projections go out for the company. Because basically the value of an investment is the company's expected future cash flows. Is the price cheap at today's revenue? Is it cheap at next year's revenue? Is it cheap for revenue five years time? And basically the further we go out into the future, the more risk it is for investors. So at 2023's revenue, um, the price of sales is 7.6, so it's not too bad. At 2024 projected revenue, so if this so if this company can achieve what it sets out to do, then we're looking at a 4.4 on their price of sales, which is fairly good. And that's the thing with these companies. If they can achieve what they say they're going to do um, and achieve these massive projections, then the valuation is actually cheap at today's valuation. But that's the thing. There's always things that go wrong. I believe it's Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And definitely if you're trying to manufacture electric vehicles, we all saw what happened to Tesla. Tesla was unprofitable for many years. They nearly went bankrupt before they started to become successful and actually start delivering vehicles at scale for a profit. The revenue expected growth rate for this company, they're, they're expecting 68% compound annual growth rate. The EV market is projected to grow at 27%. So, so they plan to grow roughly double the rate of the actual market. However, with commercial vehicle companies, it is quite possible, I do believe, because when the orders come, they don't come in ones and twos. They come in like, okay, 10,000 units from UPS, that's a billion dollars. Another 10,000 units from Amazon, that's another billion dollars. So their growth rate estimates are optimistic, but perhaps we can give them a little bit of leeway on that. So that's Proterra. If we compare that to Arrival, they're expecting a 400% revenue growth rate. Now that is extremely optimistic. And what I noticed is the revenue growth rate was not on any investor relation presentation. They didn't state the growth rate. I had to calculate this myself and I thought 400%, that's high. Um, so yeah, it's very optimistic. They do have 1.2 billion in orders though already. So perhaps we can give them leeway on that. So price of sales, 3.42 for 2023's sales and price of sales of just 1.42. So basically, if we can go into the future now to 2024 and we can look at both of these companies and they've both achieved what they set out to do, Arrival's actually really cheap right now because basically we've purchased the company 1.4 times the company's sales. But the difference is with Proterra, they have a lot of real world driving miles. Their factories are already built, they're established. They're already in the market. They have all these different revenue avenues as well. So they don't just do the vehicles. But really my conclusion with these two companies is Proterra's less risk in the short term, Arrival's less risk in the long term. So it's just if you have faith in the business model. It's a very personal thing investing. It's all down to your faith, your belief in the numbers, in the projections for the company. But just be aware, if a stock is priced for perfection, that does add extra risk into the company. But now we're gonna dive into the technical analysis, the charts, and I'm gonna identify some buy points for you guys so you can potentially get in there on these stocks. So here we are. Firstly, we'll dive into Arrival CIIG Merger Corp. Now, as you can see here, so this is when I alerted the VIP group around $15 per share here. Um, since then, it's shot up to yeah, 30, 36. So people made over 150% on that investment. 
Uh, and then there's been a correction down, so it has corrected. We're still at $30 per share now. First buy point I can see here, so I can see a strong support here at around $25 per share, which is slightly above the moving average here, which is this blue line. So that's your first buy point. If you have a pen and paper, write this down. Um, buy point one, $25 for CIIG arrival. Buy point two, if it dropped to this level, which I can't imagine it will do, but these spats can be quite volatile. 15 to $17 per share. If it dropped to that level, then that's a pretty good valuation. Value I'd load up the truck on this stock at that valuation, assuming the fundamentals haven't changed. Next, we're going to Arc Light Clean Transition Corp. ACTC, this is the SPAC company for Proterra. So we're currently at $26 per share. It's quite difficult to do a technical analysis on this company because it's not been public for that long. 11th of January, I believe when it's really had a boost up then. 11th of January, it really sort of skyrocketed at that point. Um, but I can see a potential buy point at around $20. So if the stock does pull back to $20, it's way above the moving average right now. But $20 could be a potential buying opportunity for that stock. Yeah, $20, um, pretty good for Arclight. So that's today's video, guys. I hope you found that valuable. If you did, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment your thoughts below on both these companies and others in this industry. Which are your favorite stocks right now? And if you guys haven't joined the investing family yet, feel free to join by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you wish to take things one step further and get alerted on stocks which I'm buying, which I'm selling, exactly when I'm doing that so you can get in these stocks before they run up massively, Hit that first link in the description below for the VIP group. Oh, and you also get access to my entire investment portfolio. With that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.